Hey everyone, Matt here from Docs Running, and today we're going to do a full review of the New Balance Fuel Cell Super Comp Elite version 4. So this has been an incredibly popular model for New Balance over the last several generations. This is the newest version which features a complete redo. The upper is different, the midsole is now an updated PIBA foam for the first time, geometry is a little bit different. It's some people might be a little concerned because, like I said, the previous models were very, very popular. Some people might go, hey, are they maintaining that kind of easier feel, that more accessible feel? The answer is actually yes. Let's talk about how they do that, how things are different, but who it still might work best for. So coming in first with specs, men's size 9, women's size 10.5 is coming in at 8.1 ounces or 230 grams for this. The stack height is 40 millimeters in the heel. 36 in the forefoot for a four millimeter drop, very low, and it very much feels like a low drop shoe, especially when you land in the rear foot, which is as incredibly soft rear foot here that bounces quite a bit. It can feel like a low drop shoe. So people that like low drop feeling, that's great. People that have some sensitive Achilles or stiff ankles, you might want to be a little bit cautious with this, but fortunately there is such a great rocker off the forefoot that it offsets this. The rocker in the rear foot, the rear heel bevel is fairly good. The foam compresses quite a bit. The only challenge is the bevel is facing a little bit medial. So those with stability needs, this is probably going to pivot you a little bit medial. So the stability people may not do as well in this shoe, but those with fairly stable mechanics or fairly neutral mechanics are going to do just fine and find this shoe to be a really comfortable shoe. So the updated foam still feels like fuel cell. It's still soft. It's still very comfortable. It just has a lot more bounce now. The prior versions was soft. It felt like there was a lot of compression. It just didn't really respond at faster efforts. It felt really good and comfortable for longer efforts, but not super responsive. This is now much more responsive. It does really, really well at marathon efforts, maybe into half at marathon efforts, but it still responds a little bit slow, which is not a bad thing. It just does, it max out and can't do a lot of faster efforts. I've really tried to do some harder workouts, some faster stuff in this. It does great for longer efforts and for marathon paces, but doesn't go as fast. So people that like a little bit more relaxed super shoe, it is still a shoe that's going to be accessible for a lot of people who maybe don't do as well in really aggressive shoes like the Alpha Fly, for example, is a very aggressive shoe. This is not that, but it's equally comfortable and bouncy, but just in a different way that'll probably work for people that are typically a little bit slower, maybe mid pack runners, the people that want to try these shoes, maybe haven't had success with other ones in the past. The other thing that's really nice about this is, you know, a lot of these shoes are really stiff. The There is still a lot of stiff distinct to the carbon fiber plate that runs the full length here, but the early forefoot rocker transitions really nicely. So it feels very smooth. Again, not as aggressive and still works really well for long runs. It's actually done some easy runs, plenty of easy runs in the shoe and up-tempo workouts. It can still move fast. It still does okay for tempos. It's just not the fastest one of these things, which is okay. Um, the upper is where things are also different in the prior version, and I'll do a comparison review. The upper worked really well for people with higher volume feet that needed a little bit more width but the problem is it crinkled it wasn't very secure and there's a lot of sliding this fixes that or at least partially where the upper fits a little bit more true to size it has a little bit more security the tongue is still not gusseted and i did have to lock the laces down to get a secure fit Fortunately, I did most of it for me. I would encourage you to wear thicker socks because again, the laces are a little thin and the tongue's a little bit thin. So if you want to tie things down like I had to, it's going to put a little pressure on the top of your foot. So some thicker socks can help help. But what's nice is it still has just enough room. It still fits fairly normal with a little bit more midfoot room fairly good heel. The only issue I've had with the heel, which is fairly somewhat flexible here counter, is the top here does dig into the Achilles a little bit. So you better wear tall socks. I've done some long runs in this shoe where that's kind of dug and, and scratched up my heel. So as long as you've got tall socks, that will solve it. But this shoe is still the most relaxed of these super shoes. If you want something more aggressive from New Balance, the upcoming SC Pacer 2 is going to be a really great option. That's just a tiny bit lower stack, but is more aggressive and should work well for those who want that this is a little bit more relaxed super shoe which is fine people that want a softer shoe for longer runs for something that's a little bit more comfortable people that have like i've said before people that found su other super shoes way too aggressive but still want to try something like this something want something bouncing maybe you don't need stability this is still going to be a good option for those people and that's what's going to work best so hopefully that helps we have a full written review too if you want to see me dive even more into stuff like muscle tuning but hope this video helps figure out if this shoe works or may not work for you